Today's video is on binomial distribution and this is related to the probability distribution. So using this binomial distribution, we are going to solve a problem. That is, a die is thrown 6 times. How many times? 6 times. Here, n value is equal to 6. If getting an even number is a success, see here, getting an which number? Even number is a success. Find the probability of getting at least one success less than or equal to 3 successes four successes see so we need even numbers see among a die is thrown six times in a die how many numbers are there one two three four five and six out of these among these what are the even numbers that is two four and six now see here if getting an even number is a success p represents a success so, P is equal to, so this is the solution and P, the probability of getting an even number. So, this is nothing but probability of uh, getting even number, of getting an even number is P is equal to, see here how many chances, there are 3, there are 3 prime num even numbers out of 6. So, if I cancel this, the p-value will be half. So, here the p-value is equal to 1 by 2. If p-value is equal to half, then as we know that, what is q here? So, q is nothing but p plus q is equal to 1 and q is equal to 1 minus p. And q is equal to, this is 1 minus half and q value is equal to half. So, we got the value of p and q. From the question, see here, a die is thrown how many times? 6 times. Here, n is equal to, n is equal to 6. So, we got n value as 6. The first question, solution we have to make. The first question is, at least one success. So, at least one success means, least one success means, p of r greater than or equal to 1. So, minimum at least one means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 chances. So, P of R greater than or equal to 1. At least means R greater than or equal to 1 here. Instead of doing all these, 1 success, 2 successes, 3 successes, 4 successes, 5 successes and 6 successes, I am going to reduce it as probability of 1 minus probability of R is equal to 0. See here, total probability from 1 till 6 is 1. So, instead of doing from 1 till 6, I am subtracting 1 minus 0. See here, the formula is also ready. 1 minus probability of R is equal to 0. So, here, this is nothing but NCR. The, form, the formula for this is NCR. P power R and this is Q power N minus R. So, what is our n value? n value is nothing but 6. That is a 6C0. What is our p? p is equal to half. Half power r. What is r value? So, r is nothing but 0 here. And next one, half to the power of ncr, p power r, q power n minus r. That is a 6 minus 0. And see, the value here is 1 minus 6C0 is a... Uh, 1 and this value is 1 and half power 6. So, this is 1 minus 1 by 2 power 6. That is 1 minus 1 by 64. So, here if I take 64 as LCM, this is 64 minus 1. This is 63 by 64. Therefore, the probability of getting at least one success. At least one success is 63 by 64 or else using calci that is 0 0.9844 so this is the first solution and see here the next question is less than or equal to three successes so so here what is the value of p here so p is equal to half q is equal to again half and n is equal to here six times n is equal to six times and see now for the second solution, the second solution is 
less than or equal to three successes. For finding less than or equal to three successes, probability of R less than or equal to 3 means probability of R is equal to 0 plus probability of R is equal to 1 plus probability of R is equal to 2 plus probability of R is equal to 3. And see now I have to substitute. See what is the formula here. So this is NCR. This is P power R. This is Q power. This is N minus R. So, what is our n value here for r is equal to 0? For r is equal to 0, what is n value? That is a 6 C naught P power r. And this is again Q power n minus r. So, what is our n value? 6 minus 0. For r is equal to 1, this is a 6 C 1 n to the power of r p to the power of r and x to q to the power of n minus r and next to this one n is equal to 2 that is 6 c 2 p power 2 and this is q to the power of 6 minus 2 and the next thing here is n c 3 that is p power r this is q power n minus 3 so this will be 6 c naught so, this is half power 0 and this is half power 6 and this is a 6 C1. This is half power 1 and this is again half power 6 minus 1. This is 5 and this is a 6 C2. This is half square and this is half power 4. And the next one here is a 6 C3. This is half cube and this one is half to the power of cube. And see if you observe this is a 6 C naught half to the power of 0 plus 6 is 0 and this is a 6 C 1. This is half to the power of 1 plus 5 this is 6 and this is a 6 C 2. This is half power 2 plus 4 this is 6 and this is a 6 C 3 this is half power 6. And see if I take half to the power 6 common this will be 6 C naught plus a 6 c1 6 c2 and this value is a 6 c3 and see we need all these values see i'll show you a small tip here instead of finding from the binomial theorem 6 c0 6 c1 see start from 1 so this is a small tree this is 1 1 and see now extend so edges are 1 this is 1 plus 1 2 and next again start so, initial point and final point is 1 and again add this 1 plus 2, this is 3 and this is again 3 and again start like this. Initial point and final point is 1, this is 1 plus 3, this is 4, 3 plus 3, this is 6 and 3 plus 1, this value is 4 and next one extend. This is 1 and this is 1. So, this value is 5. This value is 10. This is 6 plus 4. This is 10. 4 plus 5. 4 plus 1. This is 5. And again extend this one. So, this is 1 and this is 1. If you add this is 6. So, this value is 15. So, this value is 20. And this value is 15. And this value is 6. So, this value will be 6 C0 value. This is a 6 C1. This is a 6 C2. This is a 6 C3. This is a 6 C4. And this is a 6 C5. And again, this is 6 C6. So, these are all the values related to the 6. So, if you still extend, so you will be getting all the values at once. So, what is our 6 C0 value? 6 C0 value is 1. So, this is half power 6, this is 1 and 6 C1, this is 1. What is 6 C2? 6 C0, 6 C2 C value is 15 here. So, this is 15 and what is 6 C3 value? 6 C3 value is nothing but 20. So, this is one way of solving and see this will be 1 by 2 power 6. And if I add up all these values, so this is nothing but this is 21. And half power 6, this is, uh, this is 21, 22, this value is uh, 42. And this will be 
21 by this is 2 power 5 this is 21 by 32 the value here is a 0 point this is a 6 5 6 2 and see this is how we have to solve and the next solution here is so we need four successes here so here how we have to solve this so we need four successes here our value we have to treat as four so for the third solution again so p value is equal to half q value is equal to half n is equal to six times six and r is equal to four so the probability of r is equal to four the formula here is ncr p power r this is q power n minus r what is our n value this is n value is nothing but so 6 c 4 this is half power 4 and this is again half power 6 minus 4 so this is a 6 c 4 this is half power 4 and this is half square so this value is a 6 c 4 into half power 6 what is our 6 c 4 6 c 4 is nothing but 15 so the value here is 15 that is 15 into 1 by 2 power 6 that is 15 into 1 by 64 so the value here after calci after doing calculation is 0 0.2344 so this is how we have to solve this is also so simple to solve and see first of all the problem is a die is thrown six times if getting an even number is a success p represents a success and getting an even number is a success so out of total six numbers there are three uh, even numbers and probability of getting success is three by six and p is equal to half and obviously q will be half and n is equal to six times it die is thrown six times here first one the question here is at least one success least one success means maximum six successes that is instead of doing or adding up all the values and subtracting from 1 minus p of r is equal to 0. So this is the formula and n is equal to 6, r is equal to 0 here and this is 63 by 64 that is a 0 0.9844 is the solution for that. And the next one less than or equal to 3. So the getting less than or equal to 3 successes in probability of getting less than or equal to 3 is probability of uh, r is equal to 0 plus r is equal to 1 r is equal to 2 plus r is equal to 3 so if i substitute in the formula and calculate so instead of doing all these so please use this trick here so this is the trick i have shown you or else directly you can cancel and directly you can write the answer and this value is 21 by 2 power 5 so this is 2 to the power of 5 and this is 21 by 32 that is 0 0.6562 and the next question here is the probability of getting four successes here r is equal to 4 so if i substitute all the values here in the formula and we got the answer as 0 0.2344 so this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching and i'll be uploading many more problems uh, related to this binomial distribution have a look at those and uh, definitely pass it on to your friends if you really like and please take time time to raise your thumb and subscribe to this channel